this morning because I have no voice <coughs> and so uh kia kaha with your tiding is funny so just share a little little bit of something something with you this morning about Anzac so uh, a very good uh, good Anzac morning to you all a lot of us uh, we, wake, we wake up and we sit here and, and wake up in honour of all those that have passed on for those that have represented our country, represented our whānau, <coughs> our whenua, represented our identities in the war. And we wake up this morning in honour of them. And like many of you this morning, like myself, are probably thinking, well, I have no real whānau that have been connected to the Anzac War. But we all have loved ones that have passed on fighting, fighting to survive, fighting to make a better living for their tamariki, fighting to create a legacy <coughs> that can be passed on to your mum and dad and therefore to you fighting to create a good name for your whānau and for your communities. This morning we, we wake up in honour of them. And you know me, I, don't, I, don't, I try not to talk too long. <clears throat> and there are just two things I want you to walk away uh, embedded in your hearts when it comes to Anzac. Just two things. Number one is this. <clears throat> Number one is this. <coughs> you are chosen before you were even prepared. Remember those words. Young people, you are chosen before you were even prepared. One of my favorite war stories is found in the Old Testament, in the Bible. It is about a young boy, a young man, a young person, just like you fellas. <clears throat> and about a war, just like Anzac. And so, back in those days in the Old Testament, they had a, a, a PA, a personal assistant. God had a personal assistant, and they referred to him as a prophet. And back then, his name was Samuel. Okay, I like to call him Sammy, because I'm one of those that give people nicknames. And so Sammy... Hey, the word goes out into town that Sammy's going to rock up at this place. And everyone knows when a prophet turns up to a town, something big's going down. Okay, something big. Whether it's good or whether it's bad. Because God's personal assistance rocking up. And so the rumor has it that Sammy was coming to this town to meet this old man by the name of Jesse. And Jesse has all these sons. So everyone's talking and there's this buzz going around in town thinking, oh man, God's going to turn up in this town. He's going over to Jesse's fuddy and he's going to pick one of Jesse's boys to take on this big task in war. And so everyone's getting all buzzed out here and everyone's getting excited. Jesse's getting excited and so he prepares 10 of his oldest sons. Okay? Ten of his older sons. And they're all schooled. They're all, man, they're all prepared. They're strong. They're mature. They are, you know, all instrumented through warfare. So they know how to fight. They've got muscles. They're fast. They're very intelligent. So they grammatically sound. They know how to speak, they articulate. They know how to add, they know how to subtract. They are mature, they're old, they're ready. 
for war, ready to take on this thing called life. So Sammy rocks up, rocks up to uh, Jesse's funny, and he walks in and goes, yo, Jess, what's up? Uh, where are your boys? And so Jesse brings out his ten boys in, eh? and he looks at them one by one. So like, yeah. Oh, you're, pretty, you're pretty strong, okay, can't fight, can't fight. Keep some way, looks around. So I like, yeah, yeah, you seem pretty fit, pretty fast. Yeah, you can throw a spear, yeah, can't fight, yeah, yeah. walk around. I was like, yeah, yeah, you've got muscles underneath their hoodie, yeah, can't fight, that's number three, one, 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 yeah, see this. Oh, he, he looks like John Cena, okay, yeah, but, yeah can't fight, he's got big calf muscles. Oh, yeah, yeah no, he's, he's pretty, oh, no, that's number five, no. Yeah. Dreads, yeah, I can do with somebody with dreads, big muscles in there. Uh, okay, and one by one. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's got glasses. He must be intelligent. He's got a, yeah, okay, no, come on. He walks around one by one. I was like, oh, oh, yeah, okay, number nine. Yeah, he's got gumboots. Yeah, he'll be able to take on the, I don't know. And one by one, he looks at them, looks at these mature, strong, fast, intelligent sons. And he sits there and goes, Jesse. Um, um, do you have another son? And he goes, well, yes, yeah, I do, but he's too young. <laughs> he's too young. You, 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 don't, you don't need to see him. He's out there doing the, the chores. He's looking after the, the family sheep. You don't want to, you don't want to, he's way too young. He's too scrawny. The, the, he's the wrong guy. Just, um, Jesse, can you just go get him, please? Get him for me. So Jesse walks out into the field and he pulls him up. He's like, okay. There he is. 